Uh, right. And okay, can I leave with this quote? You and I have been into C.S. Lewis lately. Yeah. And uh, one of my favorite. I've only read a few of his, but I'm. I just told a friend this morning, like, oh yeah, I read. I'm reading all C.S. Lewis stuff. I and then I you're her, like, you're actually. You've I've only like, read three books. Three well, you've read three books in the last month. C.S. Lewis books. You never That's thought like, you'd say this. I love it. I think it's um, like reading like ten books. Yeah. But I love you and I both love this quote that we heard. Um, this was in one of the movies we watched about his life too. But uh, I looked it up, but then I looked up what's before it, which is really neat. And it, he says, why love if losing hurts so much? I have no answers anymore. Only the life I have lived twice in that life. I've been given the choice as a boy and as a man. The boy chose safety. The man chooses suffering. The pain now is part of the happiness then. That's the deal. Mm-hmm. And I think it's kind of a key to to ev- everything. It's like if if I can accept that this life and everything I have in it is really just a blessing from God, then obviously there will be disappointments. But overall, it's like I get to... I get to steward all this he's given me. I get to love. I have an amazing husband. We have an amazing family. We get to do amazing work in our lives. And if I think that I'm never going to lose anything or never going to have a heartache or something painful to go through, like my life is going to be hard. But if I accept it, then just know like pain will come, but enjoy what you have today. Like that's, that's how I interpret it anyways. So I think we had different, slightly different interpretations. No, that's so what good. Was yours? I don't, no, I don't need to add anything to it. I thought you said it's it so really well. good. So I don't know. I, I keep going back to that phrase in my head and it's really helped me a lot. Just kind of refocus and just be grateful because there's so many verses in the Bible about gratefulness, gratitude, how it, it brings you peace and joy. And, um, that's what we all want.